In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel Andres from the Mission of San Andrew Apostle in Tijuana, Baja California, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for July the 28, 2019, according to St. Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of, the, of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be thy name, your kingdom come. Give us our bread that is above all sustenance today, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. And when he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend, and you go to him at midnight, and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived, and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, Do not bother me, the door has already been shut and locked, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Glory be to Thee, O God, glory be to Thee. Well, this is very important. We have to ask, we have to ask, we have to ask. It is not that we think that we have received the Holy Spirit. Oh yes, I got it when, when I got uh, baptized. Oh yes, when I got uh, chrismated or, confirm, or confirmed. Oh yes, when I was ordained. It's not enough. We have to ask the Holy Spirit every day. But then there is a caveat, there is a warning. Because the Holy Spirit is not the vinculus amoris, as some call it, the love of the Father and the Son. Now it's the third person of the Holy Trinity. It is a person, and He blows wherever He wants to. And He dwells in us if we become holy. If not, we have this very strange power, terrible power, that God has given you and me to quell the Spirit in us. When we prefer our own will, when we do not want to obey God, when we do not want to be holy, then the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in us. He cannot remain with us. Notwithstanding that we might be bishops or whatever it is, if you start behaving in a way that is contrary to God, the Spirit does not remain with you. He will leave you. Step aside. The day the Lord is planting us, is telling us, ask, for the Holy Spirit. But like I said about the warning, if you dare to ask the Lord, the Father, Father, send down your Holy Spirit in me, you are also have to dare to stop living in this world. Not that as you're going to die. You're going to die in the sense of the old man, the old woman, the carnal, the fleshy one, the muddy one. And you and, you and I would like to start living in this abode that even remains here in the world, but it that's closer and guided by the Holy Spirit, by God. Where we can start being changed out of all our strength, out of all our heart, out of all our mind, through the grace and power of the Holy Spirit into true children of God. Because He is the one who actually configures us. 
so that we might become more like the Christ. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.